you guys liked this free building generator that I made a video about and uh, I made it my job to find others like it and uh, this is going to be a list of those other free generators and uh, you can take a look at this list and we're going to go through them and uh, see how we can use them in, inside blender and all links are going to be in the description so we're going to start with this one here which is by felipe de rio you can see it was updated for blender 4.0 and uh, most of the buildings that i have in this list are already updated for 4.0 so they should be able to work with the latest version of blender and you can, uh, so yeah you have all these parameters uh, that you could use you can change the x you can change the y I can change the Z. So this was one of the earliest building generators that we are made for geometry nodes when geometry nodes was uh, still in its early stages. It has been updated to work with the latest version of uh, geometry nodes that has seen a lot of changes and you can see there's a lot of parameters you can go through here. I'm not going to go through all of them but uh, it's a really really nice building generator. So let's go on to the next one which is the buildify generator and uh, this one is by Pavo Oliver. It's also free. Okay, so we have Buildify here open in Blender 4.0 and you can see the different parameters you can work with. And the great thing about Buildify is that uh, you're not limited to one shape. You can just say duplicate this, go into edit mode and uh, you can edit these faces to get a different shape. You can have quite a lot of shapes that you want. Uh, you can come in here and just adjust this i can maybe even make a copy here just to add uh, let's remove this face here so with just one generator you can have a lot of variations i like that let's go on to the next generator here the abandoned city generator yeah so this one creates a post apocalypse uh, city that is all Procedure. Procedure. Let me just adjust something here. Let me go to my quick functions. It's my own add-on that I use to uh, do a lot of things quickly. So let me add. Uh, let me change the background to a more to the sky texture. I'm just going to link uh, a sun object here uh, so that I can see this much bit better. And now I just need to get my sun, which is here, and just rotate it. Yeah. So let's go to the settings. Uh, to the geometry node settings here can see there's quite a lot of things here and uh, the great thing about this is that uh, it's, it has been segmented into different geometry nodes or setups so I can turn off some of these and I just look at uh, the, the buildings only. So I can go to the city generator and adjust my width and uh, length like that. More buildings will be generated. You can even change the roles. Now we have a really, really big city. From there we can add our vegetation. I remember this is a post-apocalypse city so if you see trees up on the on buildings just know that time has passed and uh, nature has taken over uh, the city so there's a lot of parameters you can play around with you can add street lights and cars yeah you, you can adjust the build density let's add street lights towers i uh, even have these destroyed cars add the plant vegetations so you can really make the city look really really deserted you have overgrowth everywhere it's a really really powerful add-on just look at this shot here just how much detail you have here you have trees you have vines you have cars you have towers you have buildings roads everything in one thing from there we have this building generator best of displacement textures uh, so these are 4k maps that generate buildings uh, so let's take a look at, at that this is by chuck cg so you have a few things here you, you have prop textures you have street props you have displacements the way this works is that uh, you get these 4k textures so and uh, you can apply them as textures that are displaced on a plane so let's do that we have our plane here i'm going to subdivide it a few times and I bring in my textures so i'm going to bring in the displacement and just connect this to a displacement texture now let's look at this and connect that there then in the material you can scroll down until you find the settings and uh, you see under surface you have displacement bump only change that to displacement and bump and uh, you can see now we have some displacement we just need a little bit more subdivision so i'm going to add a multi-resolution modifier and subdivide this using linear a few times until we get 
Yeah, you can already see we have something that looks like a building. We need to import color. Come in here and uh, I have, uh, this is color. I can connect that. And you can see, let me use again my quick functions add-on to bring in the sun. And so we can see everything more clearly. I can come in here and uh, just rescale this down a bit. We don't want this to be overstretched and just duplicate this, rotate this 90 degrees. So you can see how easily you can turn these textures into buildings. We should also have a roughness one and you have your building. You can switch this, these textures out. So we have color two. I'll oh, even have a night, an emissive one. So let me import that and see how this would look at night. So emissive one, send that into the emission color and uh, just bring up the strength. And uh, we just need to turn this into an item. So I'll get my sun. Remember, you have more than a few textures. So you can try out a different one. So this is building two. And I uh, also need to switch out the roughness. Uh, the displacement should also, uh, displacement two. What else? And the emission should be for emission two. And you can see now we have a different building. Actually, we should have just duplicated this into its own material. Yeah, so unfortunately, this doesn't work for Eevee. Only works with Cycles. Even this is, I think, good enough for building. Then we have this Buildings Generator add-on. It's Building Generator. Activate it under, you should access it under the end panel, like that. And uh, all it is, is just uh, a bunch of buildings. You just select one and, uh, yeah, so you can increase the number of flows uh, let's create another one get this then yeah they they are a bunch of different buildings here yeah it's really really amazing and uh, you can so you can populate your world with a bunch of these it's a collection of different buildings in different styles then from there we have the anime building generator it's also another blend file that comes with different buildings here each one you select has these different parameters so you can change the width, you can change the length. And I, I like these nice details, I like uh, these staircases. And yeah, the buildings are really well made and uh, well detailed. And then we have this building generator with Parallax Interiors by Yvonne Sajay. You just extrude a bunch of faces and the details will be applied for you automatically by the generator. He also made this Voxel Victoria Procedure House generator and that also works very well. You just change a few parameters and you get a nice Victorian uh, style house. So those were the free ones. Uh, here are some paid ones with better options and uh, more support with more functionality like this uh, pro procedure building generator tool that comes with different templates. Again, the way it works is you just extrude a bunch of uh, faces and uh, you can drag and drop any template you want and uh, the building will become the style of the template or theme you have chosen. It's very simple to use and gets you more detail than the free ones. Uh, another one that I really like is the is the auto building generator. It comes with a lot of uh, styles. Again, you just extrude a few faces and the detail is added for you automatically by the add-on. Uh, so you can create any building you want from medieval castles uh, to more modern buildings. You just add a few cuts here and there and uh, the building can figure out what detail to add in that specific area you have chosen. You can easily create different styles uh, of any type of building using this uh, auto building generator. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.